The following is a construction which is not in the book, but somewhere in the middle chapter of the book, uh, we'll, we will see uh, something called circumcircle. Okay? This construction, I call it construction 2C because it is based on construction 2. Uh, construction 2B, for example, uh, for to be more precise, is to construct the circumcircle of a given triangle. Now, what is circumcircle? Circumcircle is the circle that circumscribes the triangle, means that circle will pass through all three vertices of the triangle. Okay? Now, what is the idea? Let me give you some sketch first. The sketch will be as the following. Okay? Let me use another paper. The sketch will be as the following. Suppose I have a triangle. Suppose I have a triangle. Uh, perpendicular bisector, let's say the perpendicular bisector of this uh, segment here, this side here. The perpendicular bisector will be the line, the collection of the lines, the collection of the lines that has the same distance to both of these vertices here. Yeah. Any point on this line here will have the same distance from those two points. Like if I pick a point here, it will be the same distance to here and that one. Okay. Now, this is the perpendicular bisector of a segment. Let me call that segment AB. Now suppose now I have a point C here. Okay. Now the perpendicular bisector. Let's say somewhere on here and that pull. Now the perpendicular bisector of segment AB will be the collection of all the points that has same distance to B and C. So if I pick a point there, it will be the same distance to B and the same distance to C. Okay. Now these points. This line here is the collection of all the points that has the same distance to A and B. This line here is the collection of all the points that have the same distance to B and C. Therefore, can you say anything about this point? Okay, This point will be the point that has the same distance to A and B because it is on this line here. Also to C because it is on this line. Now, we can expect that when we draw the perpendicular bisector of AC, we expect that to pass through this point also. Okay. Now, that is what we expect to happen. Now, this point later on uh, has the same distance to A, to B, and to C, which therefore I can draw a circle circumscribing that triangle. Okay. That's what the, the sketch. That's what we will do. So you will see the process will be quite long. Uh, I hope you don't. You are not lost in detail. Now let me first name this triangle with name uh, A, B, C, so that we don't lose track of our work. Now what I will do first, I will uh, do perpendicular bisector of segment AB of side AB. Okay. on that side AB uh, I will take approximately this big here so you can see that let me move it a little bit and then also from this vertex here from vertex B cut here and here okay therefore This line here is the perpendicular bisector of segment AB, of side AB. Okay, all the points, all the points on this line has the same distance to A and B. Okay, now uh, the next thing I will do, I will do the perpendicular bisector to side AC. Okay, now uh, I will do perpendicular bisector there. Stop. I put my pivot at A again. Now this time I do approximately two thirds to one uh, to three fourths of the length of that segment. 
and cut this way and cut this way okay likewise I will put the one here the pivot point at the other uh, end of that segment cut it here and swap it there okay I hope you can see that now then uh, I will pull the line I will draw the line connecting these two uh, points here this point and that point I will pull the line this is the perpendicular bisector of side AC This line is the line, this line here is the line that, uh, which is collection of all the points that have the same distance to A and to C. Okay, now you will see that this will be the concurrence point later on. The point that is uh, same distance to A and to B because it is on this line and the same distance to C as well because it's on this line. Now. Uh, we supposed to have three lines because uh, we will have we will next do the perpendicular bisector to side BC okay that's what we are about to do uh, but before we do it let's see if we did what we did earlier accurately then the perpendicular bisector to this side BC should pass through that point okay that's our expectation okay now Let's start doing the process. Again, I will grab my pivot uh, and place it at B. And then with the opening approximately two thirds to three fourths, I swipe on the top. And at the bottom, I hope I have enough space otherwise I need to erase this yep I do okay now then I will pull the line see that okay my line passed through that point the intersection of those two original line uh, original perpendicular bisector when I do the third one it should pass through that point as I have shown you here okay now to show that we really really get the circumcircle let's use this point now this concurrence point uh, we call that circumcenter actually this is the point of circumcenter because this is the center of the circle that circumscribe this triangle now if I place it at B here I need to make sure that it really passed through it properly do you see that it passed it right properly do you see that it passed it oh it's off a little okay now you will see now I will get this that this circle passing through the vertices of this triangle this is the circumcircle of the given triangle okay now uh, notice that I'm a little bit off there uh, I wonder why hmm. but uh, I think it has something to do with the accuracy yeah okay now that's for uh, construction 2C, which is to construct the circumcircle of a given triangle.